I got doing today. So I'll make a little video, do a little bashing, do a little hauling ass with this uh, with my Max. See if we can tear it up. So updates. So I just changed out the uh, front bulkhead. I broke the little ear off, and uh, but it was also really cold. It was like 20 something degrees when it broken. So when it broke, so that's probably why. Uh, it's been warm the entire time except for the last couple weekends. So yeah, that's probably why I'm, I'm thinking why it broke. Uh, I mean, I did land pretty hard, but I think it should have been all right. But like I said, it was freezing ass cold. So also, I added some more diff fluid to the front end. Uh, it was almost empty, so I had fifty thousand uh, here on hand. So I, that's what I use. I used fifty thousand. I filled it up. The truck handles great right now. When the front tires are on the ground, it, it, it really speeds up the truck a lot, a lot more. Uh, the steering dolls are pretty good still. Only whenever you add thicker fluid or add more fluid like that, normally your steering kind of goes bad where you got to turn really, really wide. It don't seem to be affecting the truck. It's actually turning a little better than it was. So, you know, we're going to see how that works. Another thing, problem, problem that I'm having. So, I have to have the hot racing hubs because the uh, armor tires are not offset like the tractor tires are. And the metal nut that holds the tires on is, is coming loose. Uh, even if I tighten up a good bit, it's coming loose. I might have to add some Loctite or something. I don't know. It don't, it don't come with Loctite. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the package has not to add Loctite on them. Uh, so, I left it alone, but I'm going to have to add a little bit of Loctite to hold, hold the tires on. So Anyway, that's about it. Everything else is still the same. Same ESC motor. It's my Monster X ESC motor. That's the armor backflip success. These tires are really, really good. I, I, I like these tires. So, body a little tore up. But I got a new body coming, and we're gonna fix all that. The body wasn't shoe goo when I first got it. I was doing some little testing to see how it was gonna hold up, and it, it kind of broke in pieces where the shoe goo wasn't. Excuse me. But uh, yeah. So I got a new body coming for it. I'm gonna have to paint where it's all blue. It's gonna be clear on the on the new truck. I still gotta paint paint that part of it. But yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. The uh, new body, I'm gonna say how long, how long the new body lasts. This body's probably like, uh, I don't know. So I bought it in around Thanksgiving. So it's about two and a half months old or so. All right. But yeah, it handles good now, it really does. Now that the uh, front diff has got fluid in it, it's uh, it grips a lot harder with the front tires. Like I know the front tires on the ground, it really, really gets going. And also, if the ground was a little bit drier, I'd probably do a crazy little, crazy little donut. Now that the front end's locked up, that's the trick to getting them good cyclones. They're really, really fast donuts. Where you kind of do a donut in place, the trick to that is getting a, getting thicker fluid in the front end. Enough of all that talking and jammering. Let's go ahead and get this uh, thing in the air, man. But yeah, it handles, it handles nice. The springs are the uh, GPM Gold, front and rear. Uh, almost no preload. It's probably like three or four threads or whatever on the uh, shock body of preload so it's not very much just stuff to kind of hold it in so the truck's holding up pretty good the bulk here was, was, was the first thing i broke but i think mean, really truthfully i mean that's, that's kind of my fault i jumped really really high and it, it landed straight down on the front end so you know it was like uh, i mean it went it was high high in the air and it came down really hard on one of the uh on one of the front tires i mean the whole body the whole truck was on one wheel so that's the reason why that broke i mean all in all the truck is pretty durable i have nothing done to it as far as making it stronger
Apparently you can make they uh they make a like a a chassis brace. I need to get I don't know better about that. But, uh, about, 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 I don't know better than that. There's a little rut down there that I catch every time. Yeah, these tires are really good. I, I like them. They're super fast too. And not all worth it at all. I had, a, I had a Creighton at one time, like I said a while back. And the Creighton, it, it, was, it was horrible. I hated the truck. It was, it was a piece of shit. The truck, I mean, the uh, chassis immediately bent on me on the first jump. It was terrible. And it, wasn't even, it wasn't even that high. The truck was still brand new, so I was kind of you know, being lazy on it. Oh, man. I mean, it wasn't even half that height, and it bent the damn chassis. These are good tires, though. But they, 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 you know, you got a lot of grip with these tires, but it's also some slips that you can kind of slide around like that. But, I mean, if you catch a rut, I mean, no matter what, it's going to turn over. You throw grips on the side and stuff, you know. If you catch a, catch a rut, it's going to turn over. But it's pretty good. Pretty good. A lot of control in the air. Tear it up. <laughs> yeah, these tires are nice because they're you know they're just a little bit taller than the uh, Talon tires I have here, like the uh, 2.0 tires. They're just a little bit taller uh, and, a, and a good bit skinnier, and then I don't know they're just way faster. They still balloon a little bit, you know, give you the extra little, little bit of kick of uh, speed, but it. Not too bad where it's un uncontrollable. They're pretty good. I do like them. I tried these tires on the 2.0. It just I don't know, it sucked. I don't know why. But I tried them on 2.0. It's like it was almost too much power for the tires. And it was like blowing the tires out. Well, it only get any traction. I put the um, I put the balance back on my, my 2.0 and it was back to normal. Way faster. So Certain tires are good for certain vehicles. Heck yeah. Whoa. Tell you what, let's get some uh, shots coming from the truck, coming toward us. As always, almost that's all one take. I don't have any uh, photo software or anything to make make a little special video. Nor do I have time. So, look, Trick, he's trying to do it like this, trying to not get hit, and also have uh, hit the ramp. It's good practice though for something like this, you know, because you're able to kind of be off access and you're able to, uh, you know, get the truck handling, you know, where you're able to uh, watch it from a ways off like that. A little ballsy, but you know, we all right.
copy it away. How to break a how to break a bulkhead or a arm <laughs> in a quick way, just like that. You kind of lose a little bit of uh, like where you're at whenever you're doing it like this, where you kind of because you're kind of basically trying to jump it like this, and it's kind of kind of messed up a little bit. I jump hard all the way for sure, but just a little sketchy like right now, <laughs> like this. Ooh, I almost hit it, I almost hit it again. <laughs> Out of them weeds. Ooh, puppy. Abigail. Abigail. What are you doing? You're in the way. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. So I'm going to bring out the uh, 2.0 in a minute. I might even go ahead and get the 3.3 uh, out and get it running today. Uh, I got a new pipe for it. So, heck yeah. All right, guys. See y'all next time.